Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, I'm going to delve into the workings of the Solver Window and Flow Simulation, the Grand Projects and Flow. You've seen this menu before where we go to Flow Simulation Solve and we choose Run. Um, now, Batch Run, uh, I won't go into detail on that, but uh, that gives you the ability to run multiple projects. Um, rather than just starting one project, okay? Um, but anyway, when we go to Flow Simulation Solve and we choose the option to run, um, you always get this window, and I want to talk about the specifics here. We've got Mesh, uh, and we've got Solve. So um, always a good idea to maybe initially just mesh your study and understand how many cells you have before you try to run it. Um, you know, without any mesh control, you may end up with many more fluid cells, solid cells, and partial cells than, than you would like, okay? So so we mesh it first uh, by unchecking solve and just checking mesh. Okay, that would go out and, and just mesh this project. Now, the other option is to mesh and solve. Uh, what this will do, will, um, it will mesh it first and go right into the solver, okay? Now, you'll notice under solve, we have the choice of a new calculation um, or if we had started something, we would have continue calculation. Um, since I haven't ran this yet, new calculation is the only option. So we'll hit run and uh, the solver will start to run. And uh, it is always good, uh, I think, to uh, customize this window the way you want it to look. Uh, there's a lot of information you can present. Uh, I won't cover all that in this quick tip, but one of the most common things might be a goal plot here. Okay, we can add all of our goals so that we can see those progress uh, in real time. Okay, uh, let's stop this study and uh, we'll say yes to saving the results. If we save these results, then later on uh, tomorrow or you know, next week, we could come back in and say flow simulation solved. And, and run and this time we can choose continue calculation okay if we did not want to do that we would need to say new calculation okay so I could pick right up here by click clicking run and uh, that would that would continue my calculation that's one of the nice things about flows you don't have to start over the final thing I'm going to discuss is this option for CPU and memory usage um, run at we could potentially have multiple computers uh, listed here if you have a network seat of flow and you have installed uh, flow simulation on that computer we could come in and say add computer and actually farm that process out to perhaps a machine with more resources okay um, again i'm not going to cover that in detail now by default it's going to be set to this computer and you'll notice finally one of the things you can do is select the number of CPUs. Uh, if your machine has uh, eight, you may see eight here. Uh, this is one area where flow simulation can really take advantage of multiple processors and uh, the more the better uh, in very general terms. Okay, finally, <clears throat> what do we do after it finishes? Okay, uh, well, we can elect to load the results uh, which means we could immediately do plots and such, look at the results, or we can uncheck this. Now, sometimes your results are going to be very, very large. You might not always want to load results. This is your control for that. So uh, hopefully that gives you a little more understanding of this window, uh, all the options and what they do. My name is Tim at Go Engineer. Thanks for watching this quick tip video.